Hello, my name is Andrew Warnick, and I'm a chemist at in situ. Today, I'm going to share some handling and storage techniques that you can use to get the most out of your ion selective electrode sensor. Each in situ ion selective electrode, or ISE for short, is shipped with the following accessories that you'll find in the box. Instruction sheet. Reference filling solution. A replacement reference junction. O-ring grease. And a screwdriver for removing the reference junction. And finally, the sensor itself. When you receive a new ISC sensor, remove the protective end cap. You may notice some salt deposits on the reference junction. This is normal. Just rinse with deionized or tap water. One thing to take note of is that the ammonium and nitrate sensors feature a soft membrane. Take care when you're handling these sensors not to poke or scrape the membrane. When you get your sensor, you'll need to refill the reference fill solution. To do so, use a flat-headed screwdriver to remove the reference junction. Discard the solution. It contains silver, so it shouldn't go down a drain. Instead, you can empty it on a paper towel and throw it away. Place the tube on the reference fill solution bottle in the bottom of the reservoir and fill slowly to avoid bubbles. Fill to the bottom of the threads and replace the reference junction. We also recommend that you refill the reference fill solution every time you redeploy your sensor. Before using your sensor for the first time, or after a long period of storage, it's critical that you condition the sensor. To condition an ISC sensor, simply soak it in the highest calibration standard you plan on using. Make sure that the end of the sensor is fully submerged then leave the sensor soaking for a minimum of two hours or overnight if possible. You can always repeat this conditioning step in the future if you're having issues with calibration or if you believe that your sensor may have drifted. For best results when calibrating your sensor, use the procedure documented in your instrument's manual. The sensor can be stored dry or wet. If wet, store in the calibration solution closest to the concentration you anticipate on measuring. To recap, when you receive your ion selective electrode, make sure you refill the reference fill solution and condition the sensor. For more information, see the product manual or visit in-situ.com.